day here in Florida it's um more blue sky outside today I'm not really sure what the temperatures like yet I haven't ventured outside too much um, but I've just been spending the morning in my room um, I wake up around 8 and um, now I'm ready and we're gonna go to Typhoon Lagoon today hopefully it's gonna be warm enough I'm just even if I just go for a few hours um, just have a lazy day there um, I'll be happy. Hopefully it feels quite nice and warm. It's saying it's going to be about 23 degrees today, which is should be quite good. So hopefully in the sun, it will feel quite warm. As I said yesterday, I think I did mention I tried to see if I could upgrade my water park ticket to another theme park ticket day. Um, but because it's spring break, all the reservations for the theme parks are all fully booked. So um, never mind, we'll uh, stick at it and uh, give Typhoon Lagoon a go today. So that's the plan for today, um, let's go. Also, I totally forgot to uh, end last night's vlog, so it would have just ended with uh, Epcot fireworks, so very sorry about that. I just got I just got back to the hotel room quite late, like half past 10, because it took quite a while to get out of the firework traffic um, coming out of Epcot, but I just got home and I just took my makeup off and just got straight into bed, I think, so sorry about that. <laughs> I had a great day, it was really, really nice to be there. And the harmonious was really, really great. I got a really good spot watching it. Um, and as I said at one part, I did, um, I made a friend. <laughs> She's an Orlando resident uh, that lives obviously uh, here and she goes to the park sometimes on the weekend. So we got chatting in the Ratatouille line. And um, yeah, we spent the next uh, few hours together, which was quite nice to have somebody to go around with. And uh, we stayed and watched harmonious together and, and then said goodbye. So that was, that was a real nice little surprise I'm getting so annoyed with myself because every time i come to get in the car i keep going to the wrong side of the car and then i feel like an idiot but nobody's really looking at me i know but every single day and like every time i get in the car it feels like what an idiot <laughs> It was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erased So catch me if I fall
Just an FYI, because I don't want people thinking I'm that gutsy. I did not eat all the donuts. In fact, I probably only ate half. It's very nice, very filling. Just a little snack. <laughs> I wasn't going to eat it all, I promise. And I probably won't. Okay, here we go. I've got a feeling it's going to be quite cold just from the water that I stood in back there. When I went to Volcano Bay in November, it was really warm, really, like they obviously really heat their pools, but, oh my God, it's freezing. <laughs> it's really cold. Oh my God, that is well cold. Holy moly. Oh, I think I'll just stay here. Yeah, that's, that's good. It's good for me. <laughs> okay, I suppose the more into it I get, oh my god, the more, the more okay it is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, this is cold. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> why don't they warm it? Why, do, why is Volcano Bay really warm and Disney is not? I don't understand. They're trying to like save money or something, make cutbacks since the pandemic maybe, I don't know. Ooh. Okay, I mean, we're up to knees now, just over the knees. Okay, we're up to the top of the legs now. It's okay, it's okay. I think if the wave comes, I'm going to turn and run. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm up for that. Well, I just asked the lifeguard if the um, if this water was heated. And she said that it, it is heated, but it's actually not that warm today. She said she doesn't know why. She said it was a lot warmer yesterday, because uh, she worked yesterday as well. So that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. They, they obviously do heat it, but for some reason it's not that warm today. loving these new like lounger chairs that they have now rather than just the rubber rings because the rubber rings are actually quite hard to get in and um, these you just sit you just sit right back into these like a sofa it's a lot easier and uh, much more relaxing you know so just thought I'd take a quick minute to um, chat about vlogging I just I've had some questions like on the Facebook groups that I'm on out here uh, like solo traveler groups and stuff like that just asking about how it feels to be vlogging so I've only this is only my second series as you can see from my channel but what I will say is it's definitely like nerve-wracking in the beginning and uh, it feels really alien like the first couple of days but I feel like the more the time goes on the more days that you do it the more you get used to it and what I also found is when I came in November with the kids didn't feel I didn't feel so much of an idiot doing it with the kids around me, but where I'm on my own this time, I suppose I do feel a little bit more uh, self-conscious of it. The times when I feel even even worse is when I'm in a queue by myself and there's people literally like right on top of me, in front of me, behind me, and they're all like staring down the camera lens. Oh, there's water. But do you know what my motto is? I'm not going to see these people again, so... Do I really care if they're stood there judging me or thinking what a weirdo talking to a camera? Not really. I'm never going to see them again, so it really doesn't matter. But when I'm in a restaurant and stuff, I don't really care. People do look, but I just smile. And then they stop looking. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I didn't want to get my hair wet on this. I'm not sure that's going to work for me. And there's no escape. <laughs> I can't get out. I'm just going to have to do it. I 
okay about this because the trick. <laughs> I didn't want to get my hair wet, it's a bit late for that now. Come on Mr. Sunshine and warm me up. It's cold. See, but now I worried that if I get out of this lazy river, I'm gonna be even colder. So I probably should just stay here like the rest of the day. Although I'm gonna get hungry and I'm gonna want some food at some point. All decisions. Okay, so it's lunchtime. I'm gonna go find somewhere to get something to eat. Not really sure what I fancy, so I'm just gonna have a little look around and see what there is. Okay, so so far I've found a fishy place and I don't like fish, so we've moved on from there. And I think this place looks good. Okay, so I just went for a pepperoni flatbread pizza. So this cost with tax $11.70. I mean, it's a decent size, but you would expect it to come with a side, I, I personally think. I don't know, like a Caesar salad or some french fries maybe. It's ultimately probably the most expensive slice of pizza I've ever bought in my life. But then, you wouldn't really expect anything different from Disney, would you? Anyway, I'm gonna eat this. Okay, so I'm all done with um, lunch. I'm just gonna head to... No, I'm not. I'm gonna pick this receipt up that just dropped on the floor. Oh. I'm gonna head to the big like gift shop, souvenir shop or whatever you want to call it, that's by the entrance because when I went... When I went to go down one of the uh, slides earlier, I went to use the GoPro and she said, do you have a strap for it? And I don't, I don't have a strap for the GoPro. And she said that I couldn't film, I couldn't film with it unless I had a strap. So I had a quick look in the shop earlier, but I didn't have my card with me. And um, there is a strap that I can buy. It's not like a GoPro strap or anything, but it's something I can attach to the camera. And then um, hopefully I shouldn't have any more problems. So I'm just gonna go and buy that now. It was $12.99. And then I think I'm gonna just take 10 minutes to let my lunch go down. Um, and then we're gonna hit some slides. Okay, so I'm all finished at Typhoon Lagoon. I've had a nice day. It warmed up a little bit more this afternoon, which was nice. And uh, I did some slides, went in the wave pool, chilled, had some lunch. I think I might head to the premium outlets now just to have a little look around because they're open till eight o'clock. It's about quarter to four now, so I don't usually take too long shopping. So it just means I can get that done now. And then I've got the day tomorrow to kind of do whatever I want with, really. So yeah, we're going to head there now. Hopefully coming at later in the day will be make it easier to get a parking space. I drove past here the other day and there was a big queue to even get in here. So um, we'll have a little drive around. But I did download the app Just Park, which I mentioned in my previous um, vlog series. So you can guarantee a parking space when you get here because there's certain spaces that they reserve for you um, if you pay for it. Um, but I think I'll be okay. I should find one, hopefully. 
Yeah, so as I mentioned in my last series, this is the Just Park that I was talking about. I oh, know My Park, sorry. It's called My Park. You download the app and then you can pay to reserve a spot. Um, and it's $3 an hour. Just to mention though that it is, it is free to park here. But if you want to guarantee a spot, um, then I would use that because it should, well, it will guarantee you a, a parking place here. So just to say, when I was in the Superdry shop in um, downtown Disney the other day, I nearly got these for Graham. So full price, they're $49.95. But in here, they're the exact same ones, they're $34.95. So even though it's an outlet, they do have the same stuff, some of the same stuff that they have in the normal shop. Yeah, so if you're a Superdry fan, I would definitely, definitely recommend coming in the Superdry outlet. Because there's loads of stuff in there that they have in the normal shop and it's like discounted. So definitely a good shout. I think I'm gonna go in Skechers next because I love their flip-flops and um, they didn't have any in the in the UK shop yet I guess because it's not spring yet so I'll have a look in here. Okay so Nike, Nike may have just robbed my bank account but it's all good. Lots of bargains for me and the kids. I'd say shopping's going quite well, which means I need to find a new suitcase because I'm not gonna get all of this in my little suitcase, which was my handheld one that I came out here with. I did have the intention of getting a new suitcase, so I think really this is gonna push me to get one now. So, let's have a look for some, oh, there's Samsonite, it's gonna be quite expensive, but we'll have a look anyway, because they are good quality. Okay, so I definitely may have just brought a Samsonite <laughs> suitcase but like I said they're really good quality so it will last us and I'm never going to stop going on holiday so I might as well get good ones I brought cheap ones like a few years ago and they just didn't they just don't last they just break so and also I don't really get on very well with the hard shell suitcases so I went for a soft soft suitcase this time um but yeah so I need to go on BA and pay for a bag now to come home with but anyway, I've uh, put all the, I've put the suitcase and my shopping back in the car and I'm going to carry on now. Got another 2 hours yet until the shops close. Okay, so I'm all done at the premium outlets now. I spent a lot more than I anticipated, but I got lots of stuff. I didn't spend any money the other day when I went to Florida Mall, so I've kind of made, definitely made up for it here. But anyway, um it's about half past 7 nearly and um I did plan to go back to the hotel to put my face on for dinner but I'm gonna be honest with you I really can't be bothered to go back to the hotel put some makeup on probably for the sake of 45 minutes for dinner so I'm just gonna go straight there I'm gonna go to Miller's Ale House tonight for dinner um yeah so they're just gonna get the all natural look <laughs> it's fine no one cares really really busy in here so I've just sat up at the bar because uh, it was an hour wait for a table I'm not a fan of sitting at the bar because there's people all around me but never mind <laughs> I'm gonna go for the chicken nachos the smaller portion and then of course I'm gonna get a French onion soup because I love French onion soup there's so much on here that I want and if I was with Graham I'd make us get it all <laughs> also just to mention that kids eat free here um, on a Tuesday night I did this in November and it worked it worked fine you have to buy adult meals and it's only two per table but it's good saves some money oh yummy okay so i'm back at the hotel room i had a really nice um well i can't really say meal i just i had two starters basically um there was so much on there that i wanted to try but i couldn't get it all um so we'll definitely go back there in August, I think, with Graham and the kids. Um, but yeah, I've had quite a successful day shopping. I had a nice time at Typhoon Lagoon. 
And now I'm just going to sort through all of this stuff. So I won't bore you too much with what I brought, but um, I did end up buying a suitcase, like a big, large suitcase from Samsonite. Um, I got I got this one in the sale, actually, at the outlet. It was 170 including tax. Um, and it's a big one. It's like a massive size one. Um, I wanted um, a soft one because I don't get on too well. I think I might have mentioned that. I don't get on too well with the hard cases. Um, and then I brought quite a lot, <laughs> really. Um, I got Graham some swim shorts. I brought two of these bottles, like they're big ones, um, from Adidas. A black one and a white one. These are really good for, um, the kids use these when they do like football and dancing and stuff. But also I thought it would be good for next time we come back. Um, to keep our drinks cool whilst we're going around Disney. Um, I've got some Levi jeans for a friend. They're for a friend, two of those. And then I've got like some flip-flops for me. Um, hoodies, hoodie for Jensen. Some shorts for Jensen from Nike. I've got two hoodie, in case you can't tell, I love hoodies. <laughs> I've got two Puma hoodies, a white one and a black one. And some sliders for Jensen as well. Uh, it's just so like it's so cheap i love the outlets and i also got jensen and adidas bag i'm really chuffed with this actually because it said it was 50 dollars, and it did have a sign saying 40 percent off but it actually rang up as 14 dollars 14 dollars 97 which is that's definitely more than 40 percent off unless i'm calculating wrong but yeah i was really pleased with that um yeah so I've got quite a lot. I'm quite pleased. So because of all of that, I then had to buy that. Because up until now, I hadn't done that much shopping. And I was thinking, well, the kids the kids wanted me to bring back Lucky Charms and all that stuff. But I was thinking, I'm not going to buy a brand new suitcase and then pay British Airways, 50 quid I think it is, if I pay in advance, to get it home just for some Lucky Charms when we can get those in England. But um, now that I've got all of this shopping, I kind of have to. <laughs> So I will go to Walmart and uh, pick up some bits for the kids that they've asked for. Um, and I did, I did, Amelia asked, Amelia's really into these Squishmallow things. I don't know if anyone else's kids are. She's got a few on the go now to her collection. So I originally just brought her this little one because I was thinking I wasn't going to be buying a big suitcase after all. But now that I am going to be buying a big, now that I have got a big one um, to go home with, I might go back and get her a bigger one because I spent a lot on Jensen at the outlets. I didn't really get anything for Amelia, so got to keep it fair and all that. So the time is quarter to nine, so I'm gonna call it a night now. It's been a quite a jam-packed day. Tomorrow, because I did the outlets tonight, I don't really have a plan for tomorrow now. I don't, I was gonna to go to the outlets really, get some breakfast, go to the outlets, chill, have dinner. So, I did think about going to a Disney park, but as I said previously, I um, can't get a reservation for any of the Disney parks because it's spring break and they're all booked. All of them are fully booked. I even asked at Typhoon Lagoon at the um, ticket desk if there's any way that I could get in. <laughs> and she said basically no. So I did think about like SeaWorld or Universal, but I did Universal in November and I'm doing it all again when I come back in August. So I think I'll just be I'll just have a chill day, I think. I brought a book and I haven't even read it yet, so I could just chill around the pool tomorrow and just have a lazy day. I might go for breakfast and I'll probably go to Walmart for a little look around. But other than that, I think I'm just gonna chill tomorrow. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching this one, guys. I've really enjoyed today. It's been it's been a nice day, nice chilling, and then some shopping, and then a nice dinner. Um, but yeah, thanks very much again. This is what's coming up in the next one.